Look at it. Yeah. I think we got the right combo here. Look. Why don't you look? Just look at the angle. You can't see it from there, but probably can't see it too good. This GoPro. That thing is sitting at a stupid, stupid angle. And look at that foam. Look at that foam. It's just as straight as it can be. That's what you need. And then when you, that's what you need too. You need to see that right there. The way that thing is just laying into it. When it comes time to bite, bite. When it comes time to stand up, stand up. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at some wiser inserts. That's what people have been calling them wiser. It's the YZZR. They're 3D printed in Asheville, North Carolina. That's actually about an hour from me. And I've actually met the guy or run into him at a comp that prints these. These are they're super soft. And I believe the YZZR is actually short for yes sir, because that's what it says on his Etsy page. And we will put a link to his page in the description. But I'm gonna mount these up. I'm gonna use them on some uh, J Concept Tusk green compound. And we got some brand new Hobby Park wheels we're gonna mount them up on. So we'll get you over here at the bench and check it out. All right, first let's take a look at these. They're like, uh, I think that was $35 a set for four of them. I've actually tried to print some of these foams before myself. And <laughs> but $35 for a set, you, you really can't, can't beat that. Uh, I don't know exactly told him all I needed was one set of super soft. He sent me, good Lord, look at this. Hey, man. Hey, bro. Hey, I really appreciate it, man. So we're going we're gonna to be trying more than just, oh, these are, they feel real good. We're going to try be trying more than one set, it looks like here. And we got some, yes, sir, stickers. Yes, sir, stickers. What that that's probably just a key. Oh, that's a big yes sir sticker. We got a big yes sir sticker. All right. <clears throat> so he hooked us up. We was only wanting I guess this is the super soft. Let's see. That's a, no, these these are super soft. I'm trying to tell the the different densities here. But I can't really I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop this video right here. I'm gonna give him a call. I'm not gonna call him. I actually opened up the envelope and found this paper inside. It said you got two of each, two medium, two soft, two super soft, two super soft, two extra super soft. Okay. And it's from Jared at some people call it wiser, but I believe I'm right. I believe it's called yes sir. Because I left him a note on his Etsy to keep grinding. Uh, so we're gonna check them out, give him an honest review because he's been trying to improve them as it goes along. And uh, see what he's got. Here's the super soft. They're really, really soft. And here's some that are just regular soft. We're gonna put the two soft in the rear, and the two soft in the front. He probably just had a problem finding the right filament colors. It don't matter. The color don't matter. Nobody's gonna see the color. But we're gonna try them out. These take a long time to print. I actually looked at printing some of my printer. You need a direct dry printer to print these. <clears throat> I tried to print them on what's it called a Bowden tube. It's like seven and a half hours and usually they fail halfway through. But I think for him, he was telling me the other day or I read it somewhere that it takes him about four and a half hours to print one of these. So getting four of them for $35, that's, that's the deal. You can't beat that. So let's get them mounted and get them out on the rocks. Okay, what we did is we put the super soft in the rear and we put the extra super soft in the front we're going to put them on the SEX-10 Pro, take them out to the river, see what they do. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got the SEX-10 Pro, but that's not what we're focusing on. we got some of the Wiser inserts. That's what some people call them, Wiser, Yiser. I call them Yes Sir, because I think that's what he meant when he named them. But we got them in a brand new set of J-Concept Tusk. 
just some uh, cheap Enduro wheels. I mounted these up yesterday and I intended on making this video yesterday, but I got held up at the house. So we got the super soft in the front. Now we got the very super soft in the front. We got the super soft in the rear. So we're gonna test these out. First, we're gonna set us a baseline with just the wheels and tires I got on here. These are the original uh, foams that come with the Tusk. And this is a dual stage foam. Uh, I think it's, it's some that I made. I'll show that in a later video. But we got just a single stage stock foam in the front and a dual stage in the rear. So let's set our baseline and then we'll see, uh, see if I picked the right foam choice for these wisers or yes sirs. Now we'll just run it, check out our baseline and see where it's at. Because uh, you know, the humidity, it rained a little bit last night. So, uh, you can tell the top of the rock there's a little bit wet. We're not going to look for so much as what kind of line it'll pull. We're just going to look for roll, how much roll. Uh, his in the tires with the side healing and these are the stock ones stock in the front and uh, dual stage in the rear as you can see these tires here are they they hold up pretty good. Uh, yeah, they got a little bit of roll in them, but it's uh, nothing too crazy. It's nothing that makes the makes the truck unstable. see right there it's getting a lot of push on that passenger front now let's go ahead and do uh, this little climb over here I got the tires in the way dang it let me move them tires out of the way do this in one little clip all right now we got the tires out of the way be honest with you the degree this is pulling is really it's not as steep as it looks but it's not as easy as it looks either so there we go and it pulled that line pretty good pretty good pretty good now we'll just take it down here and do the uh, do the gap it's wet down there. oh man there's a log here there's all kind of that log was here last time I believe really wet I don't know if it'll pull the gap as sandy as it is like I said it rained last night so there's water washing in here it washed all the sand down in here oh man that was so close the key here is to get just barely get your driver's side tear on that little ridge right there. And then when you come up here, you want to wedge your pass your driver's side tire right up against that rock like I'm trying to do right there. But see the right passenger side is just sinking down too much. But that's the key to this climb here. If, if you're watching this and you're local and you've been trying this and can't get it, hey man pretty pretty easy to do but with this much sand I don't I don't I could be 
eat my words here in a minute, but see, you want to wedge that driver's side tire in there, and right there is usually when it'll stand up and crawl, but with all the sand today, it's not going to do it. So we're going to take the truck, take it up here, and put the uh, Yes Sir inserts on them, 3D printed in Asheville, North Carolina, and check them out. Okay, we got them all mounted up. Uh, the Yes Sir inserts. Like I said before, we got the super soft in the back and we got the very super soft in the front. So we're just gonna give it a quick run down here. I think a cloud's fixing to come up. I think it's fixing to uh, rain. Oh, that's very impressive right there. Like I said, we're looking mostly for side hills, but then we're, these are brand new tires too, so. You know. but they look look pretty stable oh nice that's what you want you want the tire to wrinkle like that right there but you don't want it to lay over and as you can see it's, it's staying up there I think I picked the right combo I'm kind of getting excited because even though I paid for these, well, I only paid for four. I think he sent me eight to test out for him. Uh, I like to give a good review, but I, in the end, I'm going to be honest. And the last two products that I reviewed, I had to be honest and just tell, you know, tell the truth, what you're supposed to do. I just hate, you know, somebody sending me something for free and me being honest with them, which a lot of them will take that information and go back and make a better product. Like I think one of them was like a power brick for an iPhone and they said they redesigned it. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, I think we got the right combo here. I think that's the right combo. The super, very super soft in the front and the uh, super soft in the rear. I get the weights when I get back to the house on the truck with these wheels in it and a 1500 milliamp battery that's what i'm running right now so uh you could see if this combination would be good for your truck we'll put it on the uh four corner uh scales that way you know you can see everything as far as how much weight we got to the forward to the front forward bias weight and rear weight so you'd know if this would be a a good combo for you because that's a hard thing to work out with these 3d artificial foams i guess all of them's artificial but it's to find the right one for your right truck now if i had the regular foams right there i'd have lost that line it would have them other tires sitting over there behind it would have never held that line oh nice took took it right up there Let's just go down here. We didn't try any of them other lines. I forgot with them other tires, but let's just go ahead and try them with these. I think, I'm not going to say how much this truck weighs. I think it weighs five and a half pounds. Somewhere in there. I'm not really sure. As you can see here, we're picking up all kinds of dirt. We're just going to see if we can just bounce up there with all the sand on us. Yeah. That's not a good line to come in at, but as you can see it took it. It's probably about 70 degrees out here today. I really can't tell you the exact temperature. That's about what it feels like. Humidity ain't bad. It's a little bit of moisture in there, but it's not hot moisture because uh, we're mostly in the shade. And uh, like I said, uh, to get a little bit of rain it feels like because you know you got that extra moisture in the trying to get that little limb out from there in the air and i'm using an external microphone with my gopro i bought the little module to go in the gopro and i'm looking at some dji wireless mics uh, that way if somebody goes crawling with me i can mic them up Oh, this is this is great right here usually I bounce this up I just want to see what it do this is a hard line to get 
There we go. So I guess I'm gonna put a yes sir sticker on my truck. He sent me some. Oh, look at look at look. Don't you look just look at the angle. You can't see it from there, but probably can't see it too good this GoPro. That thing is sitting at a stupid, stupid angle. And look at that foam. Look at that foam. It's just as straight as it can be. That's what you need. And then when you... That's what you need, too. You need to see that right there. The way that thing is just laying into it. When it comes time to bite, bite. When it comes time to stand up, stand up. Well, we took the other ones down there to the crack. Let's just try these right quick. I don't expect them to do any better than the other ones, to be honest with you, just because it's, it's so sandy down here. Like I said, we had some rain and last night. A lot of times, when, see this water here? This is where uh, it rained last night. All this was probably underwater, or a pretty good portion of it. It wasn't enough to carry that log off. Of course, that log might be waterlogged. Oh, look at all that sand on there. Like I said, these tires are, look at them. I don't know if you can see that. It's really wrinkling up. It's just what you want. But you want that sidewall. You want it to wrinkle on the outer side of the tire. Then about, I guess, a quarter into the tire, you want that sidewall to just stay straight up and down and not, not move at all. And that there, uh, we just got too much sand in there. I'm going to pull that out before I break the truck. And like I said, I will either weigh this or put, oh yeah, I will weigh it because it's got a different set of wheels on it. When I get back to the house, I will weigh this truck. And you can use this as a baseline to see if, uh, ooh, servo locked up on me. You can use it as a baseline to see if it's what you need for your truck, you know. But, uh. I don't know if he has any of these on his Etsy page, but reach out to him if he doesn't. I got sand all over these tires. trying to oh I knew it wasn't gonna take it because too much sand the tires are slipping because of all the sand up on it look at that look at that that's that's awesome so I'm gonna give these an A plus these get the approval of me especially for this truck we've got these on a separate set of uh, wheels and like I said, we got the wiser, yes sir, foams in it, inserts. So we'll be trying these on a bunch of different trucks, different weighted trucks, to see how much of a weight range you can actually have on a certain insert. Uh, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, till next time, I love you, but God loves you more. Okay, we just got back from the river, and we got the truck up on the scales. And we got a 58, 42, 50, 50 with a total, where's the total at? 27.91. So I'll figure that up and put it in the video about how many pounds that is. And like I said, we got the super soft in the rear and the very super soft in the front.